just talk about my hobby. It's actually, I'm thinking of speaking out for the automotive engineers, We're just to show all, show you all, trying to show you all the basics on how to select motor cars. What do you consider when you select a motor car? Looks. Looks. And then what? Price. Price. And then what? Performance. Yes, I think you. Okay. Yes. Cost. Yes, you, you name it out. Cost is including the price and also it running cost. And anything else? Style? It's a personal preference. And also performance, I would say, is a personal preference. Any more other than these two? Uh, comfort, yes, this too, this is true. Uh, safety. And I think safety, yes. Mm. So, I'll talk about safety later. Yes, and also, mention about comfort, it's uh, actually the com uh, family's needs, it's from the ladies. So if you go for seating capacity, it's clearly the MPV and the Jeep will give you the most number of seats. So if you look on performance, you'll be looking at Sporty Saloon and Coupe. The other is just is average or it's not very good even for the compact car. A rear wheel drive car, here you see the engine is putting along the drive, li uh, drive line. So uh, it has a long drive shaft and carry the power to the rear wheel. So the good thing about this is a good weight distribution. You will be expecting a very good cornering ability. And also because it shares the loads of the front wheel uh, to steer and also on driving, so you'll be expecting a lot sharper uh, cornering. It's how it works. So at the low speed where the engine is not very efficient, you use a motor with a battery to drive the car. So when it goes along the speed, uh, in a higher speed, then the engine comes in slowly. And, and, and the motor assistance is, will fade in slowly. And when it comes to a constant speed, where the driving power is just for overcoming the track, the wind resistance and the mechanical friction, then the engine is actually operate at a very optimum position. But there are excess power. But the excess power is used to uh, generate uh, electrical power to store in a battery for the next startup purpose. So this system makes the internal combustion engine runs in an optimum position all the time. And this is how it works to save fuel. It's the end of my presentation. So I recommend, well, when you select a motor car, you need to identify your needs and then set your budgets because as the car price is such a wide range, you need to set your own budget to make sure you don't overspend. And then select the type of vehicle you like to buy and then compare the specification of the different models. And last but most important is to test drive. Not until you test drive, you will not know whether you like the car or not. And also, you need to test drive to confirm the specification. Okay, thanks very much.